Hey folks, my name is Matt Kluskowski over at On One. Welcome to another episode of Your Photo, Our Look. Um, if you want to find out more about the series, is the idea behind it is, is you submit photos and I edit them. So rather than edit mine, I edit your photos. Uh, you can go over to On One Photos. That's O N One photos.com. Just go under videos here. You'll see a link and it'll take you to the page. You can see all the episodes. You can comment and you can, there's, there's directions in each episode on how to submit photos. So uh, feel free to jump in there. Let's get right to it. All right. So I uh, got a couple different types of photos this time. Um, here we're, we're going to start off with a really hazy photo. Uh, first thing I'd say, you know, compositionally, um, I think you could have probably cropped in a little bit more. I would have loved that there was a, a foreground element of some sort here. But um, yeah, I think compositionally we could crop in, crop down from the top. There's nothing really going on on that left-hand side to, to have included that in. It's just a bunch of garbage and junk. And to me, it takes away from, you do have some layers here. So let's go with, with those layers. Um, only other thing, I mean, you know, it's foggy mornings. They're nice. Sometimes it's almost too foggy, so uh, I would say that's the case in here where it's almost just a lack of light. Like there just is no light to the photo, uh, but we can kind of help that here. There's a the new setting under in the new Lightroom CC, um, it's our Photoshop CC versions. It's dehaze. It's under the effects panel. Actually does really good. I'm not going to crank it up really high because I don't want to take away all of the haze and the fog. I just want to kind of reduce it a little bit because um, I think it was just it was almost overbearing for the photo. Not much more that I would do, you know, tonality wise, I would do exposure, shadow highlight changes here. Um, we can maybe make it a little bit brighter, but that's about all I would do inside of Lightroom are these exposure changes. Um, so let's go ahead and hop into on one. I'm going to go through the file menu and let's go into perfect layers. Oh, what's all this 10 stuff? I don't know. Maybe one day we'll see it. <laughs> uh, but let's go jump into perfect layers. And really the main reason I did this is so I could grab the eraser tool, um, which is awesome. It's just, it's the best, um, the best distraction removing tool that's, uh, that, that's out there. And, uh, and just kind of get rid of some of this junk. We're not going to get rid of every little spot here, but we just want to clean up the reflection just a little bit here. And this is a great way to do it because it, it kind of just hides everything and, um, you know, Lightroom's cloning and healing tools work good on spots, but sometimes it's, uh, it's just not going to. Not going to get the trick done. All right, so uh, that to me is looking pretty good. Let's hop into effects to finish it. Uh, what I'm going to look for here is, is because we have an overall, to me, lack of quality of light. All right, there's really no good light here. I want to enhance that. One of the ways that I can enhance that is going to be under the filters, um, under photo filter, okay, because... I want to add some warmth. I want to make it this feel like this was a warm kind of hazy morning to it. A lot of these these warming filters work great. I'm going to go straight down to warm polarizer, and uh, and that one works really well. Adds an overall warmth to the photo. Almost makes it look like there's just a little bit of hazy light on some of these areas here. So uh, that's the the direction that I would go with it. Maybe reduce the opacity just a hair. We'll add another one here. Um, I want to keep. I want to keep the foggy look. I, I think I think the original photo in Lightroom, um, if I hit reset here, I think that's that's too foggy. But I'd still want to keep the hazy feeling here. So I'm going to go under glow, and uh, and there's some nice ones under here that'll really help keep that. Um, there's you know, a muted look, which is going to take all the color away from it, which is kind of neat. Um, so that's definitely one to try. Angel glow is another one to try. It's going to keep the warmth and just add an overall glow type of a feeling to it. Um, another one is the dark glow vignette. Okay. And what we would do here is you would bring, you would bring these middle guys inward. All right. And then you take the outside ring and what that does is that feathers it. And, uh, and that's, that's actually a, a kind of an interesting one to use. I, I, I almost like it, but I, I already kind of know because I, I tried this out before that one of my favorite ones is this Hollywood glow down here. So it's going to add a glow. It's going to brighten the photo, which I like. It's going to be too much. So we're just going to reduce that layer opacity, which just gives us a little bit of glow and a little bit of brightening. And if I finished it off, um, 
it's kind of like taking a picture of a person on a white backdrop. I don't typically add a vignette to that because I want that white backdrop. And because it's so bright here, I don't know that I would play with it too much. Usually I add a vignette. I think the big softy one's gonna probably be a little bit too much. So you might wanna go with the subtle version just to subtly darken the edges. But again, it's it's almost like shooting, photographing a person on a white backdrop. Um, with the, these edges so bright, with me trying to work with the brightness of the photo, I don't necessarily know that that I wanna add that vignette to the photo because I think we're, we're drawn to it just fine. All right, so let's hit apply and jump back to Lightroom. And then we can compare the before and after photos. Okay, so this is our after photo. And uh, let's go take a look here. That's our after. And there is our before. So before, after. All right, moving on. Uh, let's take a look at our next photo here. We got the pirate wedding. Um, cute photo. Uh, you know. It so what I would say to, to a photo like this is, you know, I think uh, I think a moment like this is more about documenting time. Okay. Um, you know, sometimes just when these events happen, you're not out there in great light. So we've got some harsh light, got some, some harsh shadows and things going on here. So not so much about, um, about the, everything else. It's more about documenting the moment, you know? Uh, so rather than do a whole bunch of stuff here in Lightroom to maybe try to fix shadows and highlights and all those things, I might pull the highlights back a little bit, maybe open up just a little bit of the shadows. We can go to the crop tool. You can see it's a little crooked there. So I could just rotate that around uh, just a hair. But I'm not gonna do too much to it at, at that point because what I really want is let's go with the theme of the photo, right? We got the pirate wedding, um, let's go with it. So let's head over to perfect effects because we have effects that we can use with that. And probably the first place that I'll go to is gonna be under presets. Um, lots of different, I'm gonna probably settle in somewhere in the film presets. What I'm looking for is a border. Uh, more black and white or tinted uh, type of a photo here. Um, so I'm gonna kind of click through a couple of different ones here, but I want an old look on the photo. So that's not a bad option. I, I already kind of know where I'm gonna land on this one. Uh, but again, you know, it's, I, I'm, I'm showing you my taste here, but I also wanna show you some options. So the color films are, are a good one here, but I'm gonna go to the black and white. And, uh, and there's a couple of different areas. I, remember I said I want a border. Um, so I'm definitely going to go with something with a border here. Uh, the full frame warm is a uh, is a good one, and uh, the full frame TX is another one. So you know either one of the I think I'm going to go with the warm version here because I kind of like the tint. And then we can go to the border filter layer, scroll down to the filter options for that, and uh, now we can start to tweak the borders. All right, so you can get get a different idea for different borders uh, as we go through here. Um, I kind of know. Um, antique is going to be a good one. I love, I just, I like that border for this photo. It just has that feeling for me. And then if you go under, uh, right under there to the border itself, uh, there's a lot of different options that we have here. That's a good one. Um, antique rounded is another good guy. You know what? I think this is the one kind of got that, the burned edges, uh, type of a look to it. I think that works for this photo. Again, we're going with the theme and with the style for the photo. So rather than keep it true to life and real color, let's go with it. Let's, let's, let's use effects for what effects can really do. So uh, that's about it. You know, you might go over to your filter section, uh, add one more filter layer, and, uh, and I think we could throw a vignette on top of this. Um, maybe just a subtle one, or maybe a little bit harder. There you go. I think that definitely works for something like this. So let's hit apply to get back to Lightroom. And I'll go to my original photo. Although it's not really fair to compare the two because it's very, very different styles, but uh, that's gonna be our before photo. And, uh, and that's gonna be our after photo. So just having a little bit of fun with it because uh, we weren't faced with the best conditions in something like this. So kind of let's go with it. All right, uh, a little bit of landscape photo here. I love this photo. Honestly, not too much Lightroom exposure toning work to do. Uh, shadows are whites and blacks, option or all click. We already got a white point. Remember the, the white point is the sun. I see so many, so many times uh, we try to bring those highlights down. Remember the sun should be white. It's okay for the sun to be white. So I don't have to bring the highlight down because you're gonna end up making the sun look funky. Uh, blacks, option or all click, drag it to the left to get a good black point. Maybe uh, maybe bump up our shadows a little bit here. That's uh, I'm not gonna do too much more Lightroom work to it. Uh, let's get right to it. We're gonna go straight into effects for this one because there's some good ones that'll work well for this. 
Now, before I go too much further, I'll, I'll show you a couple options to have some fun with it. Uh, under the preset section, there's light leaks. Um, a good one here is fogged. So we can, we can have a little bit of fun with the photo. And uh, you can see here, just reduce some of the layer opacity on both of these. But uh, if you're looking for a way different kind of dreamy type of a look for the photo, uh, that's a good way to go for it. Uh, so fogged, we can jump in there. Um, you know, if I, if I turn this back on and, uh, and just to try it, let's go ahead and add another filter layer here. And uh, let's go down to urban. And I'm gonna go to urban sun. I wanna stack this on top of what I already have. So I'm gonna right click. And I'm gonna choose insert preset. And that'll stack it on top of whatever I have there. So that kind of works. Um, that's one direction to go with it. I'm going to reset everything. I'm going to also try the Urban Sun because I think that's a good look by itself. Just a bright kind of hazy sunshine day to it. Uh, you can see there's some haze back here. So it really works for the photo. I actually like that one a lot. I, I could put a vignette and be done. Um, but I'll go, I'll go one more avenue with this one. We'll add a, uh, add a layer there and I'm going to go into my color film, good old Fuji Velvia. That'll really make the colors pop. All right. So that works really well for that one. Um, probably add another layer, go over to my filters. Uh, since this is a sunny photo, the sunshine filters are going to look really nice on it. Uh, glow is a good one. So glow is gonna give us a warm feeling to it, but a little bit of a soft glow. And then sunshine will really just give us that warm feeling. So it takes the glow off of it. Uh, I kind of like the glow. I'm going with the glow. All right, add one more filter layer and this one will take a pretty strong vignette um, because I really want to focus in. I take the, take the focus off of the edges and, uh, and focus in on everything uh, that's going on in the middle here. So we'll add a pretty strong vignette to that. Hit apply to get back to Lightroom. And now that we're back, let's go take a look. We'll reset the original photo. And so that is our before photo. And that's our after. Before, after. Uh, as I'm back here inside of Lightroom, uh, I'm thinking I can pump the shadows up a little bit. I like the detail there. Remember, that's that's the common problem, right? We, we, we can see this detail when we're there, especially if we're shooting into the sun. We, our eyes still see a lot of that detail, but our cameras just can't pick it up. So we can pump up that shadow detail. Um, quite a bit here and, uh, and still get some of the detail in those trees. Very cool photo. I, you know, not much I can say about this one. I love the sun. I love the trees. I love the, the layering and, and everything. So really a nice looking shot. Let's take a look at an HDR. Got basically a bracketed series. Uh, pretty good on the bracketing here because a lot of times, you know, I, I see, I see a lot of photos bracketed that don't need to be bracketed because you can get the range all in one photo. You know, like for example, this is, this is a good one. There'd be no reason to bracket this. Uh, because all the range we need would be in one photo. But something like this, if you want all that detail that's back here, you're going to have to take a really dark photo. Um, not that there's any detail of significance here, so um, I'm not sure that we'd have to go that way. But there's so much shadow stuff here that we, we would probably want to bracket. So I'll select all four, uh, go to the photo menu, photo merge HDR. And as we're inside the uh, the HDR dialog box, there's nothing moving in here, so I don't have to use the de-ghost uh, settings at all because th that, that'd be for anything that was moving in the photo. So I'll just choose none and click merge. You'll see at the bottom here, it creates another uh, kind of a DNG version of our merged photo. Uh, it's got lots of shadow possibilities, lots of highlight possibilities here. So we can tone those down quite a bit. We can open up the shadows and, uh, and what we're going to do, that's, that's pretty much all I'm going to do for it. I'll add some clarity. Okay. I think there's a little bit of a vignette that was already on this. So let's reset that. Um, but to me, this is, this is decay. This is urban, uh, you know, kind of grungy, kind of textured. We're going to go with that. So let's get right to the effects because to me, that's, that's, what's going to make this photo work. Uh, not just merely merging it as an HDR photo, but actually adding the effect to it. That's what this one's all about. Dynamic contrast. Once you get in here, loves this type of a photo. And I, I rarely do this except on these types of photos. I don't, I don't actually shoot a lot of urban decay or anything like that. But if I do, this is, you've got to go grunge and surreal. Uh, we'll try grunge and we'll try surreal. 
I'm liking grunge. You, you got to. That's just, that's what it's meant for is you really want to texturize this. You really want to bring out these details. You, you want that to be the star of the photo. Um, so I'm not going to do too much more. We'll add another layer here. Uh, a couple things you could go over. You could start to mess around this. We can go under the presets too. Uh, here, let me reset just to show you. Uh, urban is going to be a great place. You know, think of the category. This is urban decay. Um, so urbex, um, that's going to be a good one. Urban Sun, oddly enough, is even kind of cool here. Uh, urban Cinema. That's kind of neat. Dark and Gritty. God, I could go on forever. Oh, I like Dark and Gritty. We're going with Dark and Gritty. I oh, Wait, there's Caution. Gosh, I can keep going. Oh, I'm going Dark and Gritty. And then you know what? Because I barely even have to add, a, and it's even got dynamic contrast built into it, but I barely even have to add a vignette to it, but we will because just like photos like this, like... Uh, they like dynamic contrast photos like this like strong vignettes. That's just part of it. It's what you got to do uh, So that's about it Hit the backslash key. That's before that's after so let's hit apply and get back to Lightroom And then we'll take a look at our before photo. Let me just hit reset You know what? This is this is an odd one because our before photo is really the combination of four photos But we'll go ahead. We'll go ahead with the uh, the, the merged HDR that it created for us So that's our before photo that's our after, before, after. Really what we wanted to do is bring out all the highlights, bring out all the shadows, and especially bring all the texture uh, into something like this, okay? Well, folks, hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out ononephotos.com and uh, you can go check out the uh, all the other videos. Leave a video or leave a photo if you want me to take a look at it and see if we can get it into one of these videos. In the meantime, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you again soon.